I love the strobe lights. I want them. <laughs> Woke me up a bit. So I hope you guys are not too uh, tired from the big lunch we all had. Uh, I'll try to keep it short and simple and have a bit of fun so uh, uh, we have a good time all together. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is an incredible shift there has been in the last four years in the way people share information. It's just been incredible. And I'll tell you also how we can use uh, artificial intelligence, in this specific case, computer vision, so image recognition, in order to access to extremely valuable and uh, measurable brand insights for this completely new world in which we live today. So quickly on the reasons why I can tell you more about it, Olga did a great job uh, uh, introducing a bit why I can tell you more about it. But once again, I'm the CEO of a company called Logograb. Um, the quick story about us is that we are former Google researchers. Uh, we have actually built some of Google's core image recognition technologies back in the days at Google. And uh, at Logograb, we have built the best technology to find logos in very, very large volumes of both images as well as video. So what's interesting is that we actually don't deliver our technology to the end consumer. So uh, we don't work with brands or consumer with the end client. Uh, but we partner with industry leaders in multiple industries which integrate our technology inside their products in order to deliver more value to their brand clients. Now, the industries we operate in are multiple. Uh, we go from brand protection and counterfeit detection uh, with clients like eBay. We're very strong in retail intelligence with clients like Nielsen. But today, I want to focus on something that is more uh, relevant to the story I'm telling you about this big change in the share of information. So we're going to look a bit closer at how clients like Brandwatch or Crimson Hexagon, which are client of ours, uh, use the technology in this completely uh, new world, uh, a new way in which people share information. So, finally going back to the story where we started. Um, this is a story about humans. And uh, it's a very interesting story in understanding how, as humans, we manage to convert simple information into a commodity. Uh, a commodity that we manage to monetize and we sell, and how we need to keep being ahead of the curve in ter terms of commoditizing this information and, and, and selling it, so to make our businesses successful in the future as well, and not just in the present day. So to start the story, we have to go a bit back in time. We have to go to the year 1440, uh, where this good old chap named Gutenberg invented something called the printing press, which today sounds very obvious, but back in the days it was a big, gigantic revolution uh, because as a result of it, we started having a first true standardization of information and a first way to condense information, package it, and sell it to people. So we went through a profound transformation back in the days where humanity and society shifted from, you know, sharing information with storytelling, where the information keeps getting broken and lost and you can't monetize it and package it properly, to reading, where now we have books. Inside these books, we can once again standardize them, condense our information and sell this information and monetize on this information on a larger scale. Now, this is what happened in the last uh, uh, 500 years. We've been sharing information and condensing it over books. But in the last four years, we have been seeing a new uh, big transformation in the way we, we package and share information. And most of us are not really realizing what's happening yet because it's so early days. Uh, but this new big shift is that we're moving from books to mobile. And as you will see, uh, the transformation in mobile is bigger uh, than what we think. In fact, as a result of this big shift uh, towards mobile, what happened in the last few years is that teen readers, so teenagers that don't read, 
actually tripled, tripled three times more the number of teenagers don't read anymore from 2014 to 2016 because the way we access information is different today. It's no longer books. Uh, there is another way. It's not reading the way we access information. So it is true to say that mobile today is doing to reading what the printing press did back in 1440 to storytelling. It's a fundamental shift. We need to jump on this shift. Now, it's not just mobile itself that allowed for this big shift in the way we share information and we access information, but it's actually the tools we developed on top of mobile to share information. So as a result of that, today we brought the commoditization of information to a complete new level. Uh, where we are truly bombarded every day with tons and tons of information on multiple channels and filtering content that is relevant inside all these challenge inside all these uh, channels has become a real challenge for people and actually being able today to quickly skim through a lot of information and content and find the re relevant information is really become the new skills uh, uh, that we are developing as humans. Now, we are intelligent as humans, so we actually figured out uh, pretty quickly that a great way to condense more information and sharing it with others is uh, by the means of images. Uh, and that's because the human brain simply can extrapolate a, a lot of more data when we look at a picture uh, rather than having to read a long piece of text. And as a result of the shift, it's, the numbers are just incredible. They speak for themselves. While in 2012, we were sharing something like 300 million images a day on social media, today that number is over 3 billion. An incredible growth. There's something going on here. We all need to look into it and figure out how to build our businesses successfully on this change. So, in fact, today, 63% of social media uh, is images. That's what we share the most, more than text and other things. Uh, but another interesting piece of data is that whenever we uh, find uh, a, a brand inside those pictures, actually 83% of the times, the name of the brand is not even mentioned anymore, either in the description or the title or the picture, or there's not even any hashtag uh, relating back to that brand. And, and this is a problem for brands because they can no longer uh, understand how consumers are interacting with their products. They can no longer access actionable data to understand where they need to spend their marketing money. And so as a brand, as a marketer, uh, as anyone who's building a product that, uh, that needs to take advantage of this shift, you need to be looking inside images on social channels in order to make sure that you're going to build a successful business for the future. So just a quick few examples of what happens out there on social media inside pictures where the name of the brand is never mentioned inside the text. And keep in mind, that's 83% of the time, most of the times. So you're looking at things like influencers. Uh, if you don't see inside pictures, you can no longer see who are those people that really represent your brand and are actually selling your product for you for free? You may want to engage with them. So if you cannot see inside pictures, you no longer know who they are, being passive or active. Um, or another very important element would be sponsorship. Uh, brands spend tens and hundreds of millions of dollars to place their logo on sports people, on sports events, because they want to associate uh, their brand with success and with innovation and with being extreme. And uh, today, as a brand, if you cannot see where your brand not only is placed during the event, but where it's shared afterwards on social channel, you're missing out on a gigantic piece of the whole game, and you don't know anymore if the, the sponsorship money you spent is actually generating a return on investment, or you may want to invest on different events next time you're going to go out there and pay a $4 million check for sponsoring the Tour de France, for example.
It's clicking, but it's not moving. Ah, here we are. Okay, so some other examples. Actually, I like this one a lot. This is about co-branding opportunities. This is a real uh, case study out of uh, one of our clients using our technology, where Corona shifted massively their advertisement spending because by looking inside pictures that people were sharing on social media with Corona bottles, they realized that people tend to uh, share and, and use a lot of the Corona product when new TV shows are released on Netflix. So there have been some important shift in the spending uh, in, in terms of advertising for, for Corona as a result of figuring out that people consume the product a lot when watching new shows that are coming out on Netflix. And last one and last example would be brand health. Uh, once again, you want to make sure that people are happy with your brand. Uh, that they also share your vision in terms of, of what you're spending in marketing and you're not going down the wrong direction or you may want to be able also to manage potential uh, crises before they explode on the market. Again, kind of the traditional things that people used to do on text on social media, but text is becoming more and more irrelevant. If you can't see inside images, kind of screwed. So. What I want to tell you here today is that the visual age has arrived. Uh, the reason why it's here, it's because of mobile. Uh, but not just because of mobile, but because it's the result of mobile. Images have become the new norm, the new way we interact. Keep in mind the numbers from before. Teen readers have non-readers, so teenagers that don't read have tripled uh, in the last few years. We consume images and no longer uh, text. So just make sure uh, that you don't ignore this change. Make sure that you act on this change. So if you are a brand, if you're a marketer, or if you're a student that wants to go out and have a successful career in the marketing world or working with brands, make sure to, to give a lot of attention to images and figure out what's the best way uh, to be successful by uh, looking inside images in this complete new age. I hope I wasn't too boring. Thank you for your time.